Hello and welcome to Build Roo TV. This is Vanessa coming from the PCBC conference in San Francisco 2009. And I am here talking to... Brian Osborne. Brian Osborne from Premier Building Systems. And we're going to talk a little bit about the company and the products that they have. So Brian, tell us a little bit about, first off, what you are holding. Well, we have a product called SIPS, it means Structural Insulated Panel. And what it is is two layers of OSB plywood that's bonded to the foam. Uh, this is a green building product. It's a replacement for wood framing, and it really replaces the exterior shell of any house or any building that you have that has to be wood framing, what we call Type 5 combustible materials. Mm -hmm. uh, we happen to be uh, blessed with about 23 lead points, um, 46 lead points when it's commercial. Uh, Premier Building Systems itself is 41 years old company. Wow. But we happen to have this darling green product called SIPS on the market, and uh, we're doing pretty well even in this market today. So this is the SIPS? This is the SIPS yes, product? Yes, this is a small portion of it. And what we do is we uh, manufacture this in 8 by 24 foot sections, and then we uh, take CAD CAM uh, software and actually buzz it out in our factories nice. and ship the building out prefabricated at where it's ready for uh, being put up. And so that will also essentially cut down on uh, construction time for the all the construction sites, yes, because right. you're, you're right. a lot less. Typically, we say 40 to 60 percent on labor. Depending 40 to 60 percent. Wow, it's yeah. a lot. That's depending a lot. on the uh, complexity of the building. Yeah. So, so how how many stories can you do with this? Can you do as much as you possibly can with this? What? How? How does no, that when work? when you get into higher stories, there's a lot more loads on the lower okay. floors. So. Uh, so it's basically just like. Well, we do up Homes. to four stories. Up to four no, stories. No, no, we do a lot of multi-housing and multi-housing and um, all that kind of stuff. Anywhere where you can have what's what we call type five construction, which means combustible materials. Okay. But this does it can be fireproof, just like wood framing. So really, it's a replacement for wood framing. Okay. Do you have any other certifications besides the lead credit points? Do you have any other? Are you? Is it? MSC well, certified or anything along those lines? Well, we have uh, code reports that allow this product to be used as a shear wall. Okay. And in California, uh, we're allowable to uh, have this product in, in shear wall locations, as well as, you know, the rest of the building and uh, the roofs as well. Right. So one question about the styrofoam. I know that some people think styrofoam is not environmentally friendly and all that, but what are the, what are some of the high points of having this styrofoam right here in well, the middle? Well, here's the thing about EPS. EPS is generated by heat and steam. It's not by a chemical agent, mm -hmm. which makes it foam. So that means there's a lot less off-gassing. There's very little off-gassing in this. And then EPS, we guarantee the R value for 20 years. Uh, excuse me, 50 years. 50 years. 50, yes. 50 years. And um, our guarantee on the whole panel is 20 years. Uh, our company parent company is Insel Foam that makes the foam and we also sell this to Caltrans and they use it as backfill instead of gravel. It's a oh, lot denser okay. foam okay. but the reason they do it is that this foam is good for about a hundred years. So where this was horrible as litter like for styrofoam yeah. cups, yeah. well that would never rot or go away. Terrible as a litter but for a building product that's a good characteristic. It's going to last forever. Very nice. And so we're doing uh, pretty well as far as our sales yeah. go. So with this, you just you just put this up and then you mm -hmm. drill the drywall directly into this, yep. or just like you would just, wood framing. Just this, it's, it's it's the exact easier, same though, thing. You don't have to find where the stud is. It's you, you just know, drill you've got, right in. You've got nailing everywhere. Yes. Yeah. And about the only change you have is because we don't have studs at 16 inch on center like typical framing. Uh, your fastener interval usually gets a little closer, like 12 inch on center or something. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. So with this. Compared to the conventional framing that's all wood framing, what's the cost? Is it a lot more expensive along the same lines, less, more? Well, uh, this is an Energy Star compliant material, and so when you calculate in the tax rebates you get because you're using We get tax rebates? Yes. Okay. Federal tax rebates, and those should be increasing with the stimulus mm -hmm. going on and everything else. Uh, Do you get tax rebates from having this product instead of yes. doing the traditional wood framing? Yes, this qualifies for federal tax rebates because it's an Energy Star compliant material. Uh, you don't get that with wood framing. No. And we also have a 20 year guarantee on this product, which is something else you don't get with the wood framing. Yeah. And also because of the styrofoam, you're saving a lot on, on heating costs. Oh, yes. Quite and a bit. so not all the the heat yeah. that you're putting into the house is going to be going out. It stays yeah. in a lot. Yeah, this right here in a lot a better. wood frame wall would be what we call R13. Well, this is about R18. Okay. So you're about, you know, 30% more insulation value. But there's more than that because it's a foam, there's no air movement at all. 
And when it comes into roofs, it's, you're not required to have venting in a roof, which is required by code if you do typical framing. Mm -hmm. This is considered a solid, so we sell a lot of SIP roofs for other kind of green construction like ICF, straw bale, mm -hmm. and our own SIP panels. Okay, very nice. So can you tell me a little bit about what we have going on back here? What's all this all about? What's this all about? Well, we're a division of Carlisle Corporation, and we just came out with a new uh, caulking product. Uh, everybody wow. out there, <laughs> this is going to be the new kind of caulking. Uh, we're no longer going to have tubes like this. This is the old style. This is the, old style because this is the new style. And the reason for this is that this is very large when it comes to landfills. And whereas this, when the product gets used inside this new style gun, uh, the product that's left over is about a, this thick. So you get. So it's really is nothing thrown out. It's not yeah. much for landfill. So what do you do? You just put. You just put this inside the gun. You don't have to clip it or anything. No, nope, it'll just go off and then. Um, That'd be this, easy for me to use. Yes, it would. <laughs> Very easy. Yes, this is uh, and this is a no VOC. I mean, it has no, no volatile no organic chemicals no at VOC. all. No VOC. Yes. Very nice. And that's true with our product. We have very little off-gassing with sips, so it's very healthy, friendly house to live in. So inside, outside, this this caulking is for inside and outside, or well, it's to go and seal our panels when it goes together. Okay. So and it's one of panel. one of the things about a a sip. Uh, structure is that it's a very well sealed structure mm -hmm. and uh, in wood framing we call ACH is air changes an hour and in wood framing if you're a very good builder you might get a wood frame structure to be built at three ACH uh, that's three air changes an hour whereas in SIP panels we can get down below one ACH okay, very which nice. means better energy efficiency and, and quality of living stuff like that. So do you have any anything any news coming up for, with with the company anytime soon? Anything big projects or anything you're working on? Anything that you'd like the consumer or the professional to know? Well, we're actually getting a lot more into commercial structures okay. and uh, public schools. We're making a big effort that way and state Public schools are loving this kind of stuff, aren't they? Because it's so energy oh, efficient yes. and it's low VOC. Well, it's also an ENERGY STAR compliant material. Exactly. Uh, there's a, a, a code regs called CHIPS, which is a standard to build public schools under. And a lot of that is to make quality environments for kids to go to school in. And one of the things about a SIP uh, structure is that the temperature stays at a very even. You don't have a very up and down like you would with wood framing. So no changing of the thermostat all the time, no, that kind of no. thing. Okay. Well, yeah. and also, you know, a, a school district will be paying 40% of what they would have paid if they had a wood frame structure. Mm -hmm. So really, there's a lot of savings during the whole life cycle of the building. Yeah. So. You're saving wood and money and energy. Yes. 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 Very and nice. we use a lot less wood when it comes to wood framing. Exactly. And the quality of the wood's going down. Yes. So our panels are very square and flat, mm -hmm. and that helps when you're building it. The buildings come out very square and flat as well, yes. which helps in the whole process of the building process. Yeah. So if if we were to want to find out a little bit more about your company, where would we go to do that? What's your we website? We go to the website of www.pbssips.com. Say it one more time. <laughs> www.pbs. SIPS.com. Very nice. Well, Great. thank you very much. You, it's been a pleasure. Very good. And check out more videos like this at buildrutv.com. Thank you very much.